So what is up guys, Killer Kevin today back with a brand new episode of Top 5 Console Mods to hit the Bethesda.net website this week. This is going to enlist Xbox One, PS4 and PC, I'll just add that in there because why not. But this is going to be episode 9, hopefully guys enjoy this one, if you do hit me up with a like and let me know in the comment section below how you think this series is coming along but let's just jump straight into the video faster horses and animals simple mod aims to add a more immersive and realistic speed to animals for me obviously the horses in game are incredibly so even if you do buy the top end horses in game increases the horse speed by 20 percent and other animals and creatures and critters and all the other little fun stuff to 10 and 30. This mod also adds a nice feature as well which I really do enjoy which is going to be double horse stamina that is a certain degree to other animals as well. Horses are now cowardly and they will flee in any fights instead of standing there and taking the damage which is really kind of frustrating when you just buy a brand new horse which costs you a stupid amount of gold if you're playing law friendly. Once you buy it it just charges straight into combat and gets his head chopped clean off which is a little bit annoying if you spend all that gold. Not compatible with any other mods after the animal or creature speed but I think this is the only one I personally do have and it's probably the only one you have as well so it's nice to add to your mod collection the season though this actually really does up the ante of the game horses are slow and they are annoying when they go into combat so this one is ideal for me Useful staves, or in my eyes, it's going to be called useful staffs, which is pretty much self explanatory, but obviously, we're going to go into a little bit more detail here. They are a big improvement throughout the way that the charge and the balance actually works within staffs. It roughly uses about 50% of the cast charge as well, which is obviously doubling the charge use before this particular mod, the damage, strength, and duration of effects of all staff has been increased anywhere between 20 and 400 percent that is due to what staff you are running with not compatible with any other mods that have the effects on staff values too so please do bear that in mind for me i don't actually run too much with a wizard just for the fact of staffs are pretty much useless of so the fact of double recharge and that obviously that increase between all the effects from 20 to 400 on the particular staffs as well which is really kind of nice so all you mages again whip out your staffs and let's get back and for our next spot is going to be divine atmosphere this is really really cool this mod it adds so many different elements to the game which is actually really nice obviously the immersion on this mod is pretty much up there with anything else it changes loads of things to do with weather and for the main thing why I chose it was because it does change a lot of things to do with the lighting aka fire pits torches actual daylighting as well coming through windows and certain different skylines it's really damn cool this mod heavily does suggest that you do not use any other weather or water mods with this one and Obviously for the best performance do not have any of the other weather or water mods running but this mod is actually really damn cool it's a low mb size as well definitely worth grabbing if you just want a slight tinge on that vanilla game due to the immersive and realistic atmospheres and for our next spot is going to be soul reaper spell this is actually really really cool this adds a spell book to pretty much every single wizard around tamriel you can pretty much buy this book it's a conjuring spell called soul reaper but which basically what allows you to do once you cast it once it is a a permanent cast and it's pretty much like a power do not have to keep recasting it every time you want to fill up a soul gem so obviously once you've casted it that is pretty much it you roll into combat kill someone don't have to use a spell because it's already used and boom the soul is going to be filling up a soul gem really useful it's kind of super annoying when you have to keep recast a conjuring spell to get the soul to fill up those soul gems so it's a nice new one just to throw in there it's a super low download size as well so i'd recommend everyone getting this one just because i know how much of a pain in the ass it is to keep doing that and for our next one is going to be the forgotten crypt dungeon this is a super cool dungeon i'd recommend everyone grabbing this and trying this i had so much fun doing this this dungeon is literally a throw stone away from Riften. This dungeon is fully optimized for power and performance as well. So do not worry about any lag issues or so on and so forth. This obviously recommends a slightly higher character as you will be fighting enemies that do have ebony armor slightly just weaker than daedric and at the end of it as well you do get a nice award which is going to be a new powerful spell i'm not going to ruin it or show you it in this video i want you guys to go and grab this mod go through the dungeon kill everything in that dungeon have a ball of a time and test that power out but i had so much fun going through this there were so many different enemies and there was actually kind of a nice route it kind of reminded me of a first person experience from diablo kind of strange but it did for me 
go and check it out guys and let me know what you think in the comment section below so guys that's going to be it for episode 10 of five brand new console mods to hit the bethesda.net website if you did enjoy hit me up with a like let me know in the comment section below if you're going to be getting any of these mods let me know how the series is going if you haven't subscribed already click that subscribe button click the little bell to get for notifications for every time we upload but until the next one guys kill it and kill it out